welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl lydia if you're new here please do consider to subscribe and turn on the notification button for more updates so to all my returning subscribers i want to say thank you very much for always passing by for watching my videos you guys are amazing i love you all back to back so guys in today's video i'll be doing a part two of what Tila said in my last video please if you have not yet watched my last video uh the the heading of the video is 237 artists exposed for her exposed her uncle who mm, her at seven years old i don't want to call it because you know youtube policy so actually she was assaulted when she was seven years old by her uncle and she came out to, uh, to the public to give her reasons why she kept so long she kept silent for so long and before i enter into the video please let's not judge anybody let's not judge because even the bible says we should not judge so with from what she said we are going to be picking out some points here and to talk about before she posted this thing um uh, after she posted these things on her timeline that this is the man who assaulted her when she was seven years old, I was like, but why bringing this thing to social media? Why bringing your uncle to social media that he actually did this to you when you were seven? You didn't take it to your family members so that you guys can talk about it and find a way on how to solve this issue and you came with it to social media. I was like, is she okay is she depressed what's she going through what's wrong with her but seriously guys after her video after the video that she made i was thinking and said oh god this girl actually passed through a lot when she was 70 the age that she is now and you know guys it's not easy to like come out to the public say your mind and people will always judge so but let's try not to judge her in this case please um now the first reason she came out with was shame that she kept silent for so long because she was ashamed that people may not believe her that she was actually assaulted by her uncle you know somebody very close to her and the person was a lawyer can you imagine you have an uncle with a lawyer he always takes you to court with him to his office you always sit and tell him and he tells you that if you try and open your mouth one day i'm going to lock you up and you see how he's handling some cases with people many are going to prison and you were like oh my god if i really say out oh, this is my story would people believe me and it was very ashamed it was it's a shameful thing that you would tell people that where well, i was actually assaulted by my uncle this and that so it's not easy guys it's not easy if you see somebody who has been assaulted please give that person a respect because it's not easy handling such things they actually go through trauma they go through depression they go through a lot in order to overcome that particular stage in life the second thing she came about was fear you know many and this fear issue is what is causing a lot of harm to most of us I will put it most of us because we actually have one or two other problems that we go through but we are unable to speak up just because we are afraid please i want to bring my word my, uh, to this my channel to actually encourage each and every one of us that in whatsoever situation we face ourselves in let's take away fear fear is one of the weapons that the devil used put in us and it will hinder us a lot so i want to thank god that she actually came out with that courage and defeated the spirit of fear even though it took her a long period of time but praise god that she actually overcame this is one of the points that she mentioned and seriously it's also affecting us a lot we have a lot of things that we go through but that's just the thought of that we can overcome we can make it we are afraid we don't want to share with others these are the attribute or the kind of behaviors that we have to struggle to handle in our lives. Let's struggle to share some certain things, even if not with our close friends, 
at least let have somebody in the family like most of us the ladies we are always close to our mothers so let's see a way that we can take our mother as our best friend because if she like if she brought this situation and said it to her mother earlier since like since i'm not sure she will but she, this situation will have been like this on social media so my point of view is also that let's try to always share out our cry share out our burdens share out our problems with those that are close to us it's going to help us a lot let's stop being timid let's stop being afraid let's stop being ashamed and i pray that as we go older god will help us now the last point that she came about here was guilt you know so many of us we, also, we always have that subconsciousness of guilt in us when you do something or when something has happened to you you're always guilty that oh my god is this really is this really and i actually know that it's not easy when you are being assaulted when you have been molested when you are being one when you are going to one thing or the other it's not easy to come out to the public and speak but i want to give kudos to tila for coming up speaking up and i pray that this thing actually helps some other ladies out there and make some guys to uh, and prevent some guys from doing more harm to the young ones behind us so now i would like us to remove some certain points there and talk about it please if somebody has gone through this kind of situation i would like to advise and encourage us to open seminars create seminars create things that can help you educate help you fight against this kind of act help help the other people who are less privileged to come up to speak up open an organization for people who have been assaulted on how to overcome it and if you have gone through this kind of situation before and you think that you haven't gone you haven't passed that 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 stage please visit a doctor it's very important i know each and every one of us have different ways in how we handle our situations but doctors are always good no matter how you want to say you can handle it how you can struggle with it but when you visit a doctor i think it will be lesser for you for example if it's going to take you around 20 years to overcome that situation if you visit a doctor it can take you less than 20 years so visiting a doctor is actually very important in whatever thing that we are passing through psychologists help a lot i'm a witness and i can testify that if you go to a psychologist for your problem seriously and trust me you won't be disappointed it's going to help you a lot so guys these are the points that i came out with from Tila video so if you haven't watched that video please go to the to my youtube channel lydia tv show or this one that you're watching presently and go to the previous video that is artist 237 artist that was that exposed her uncle you are going to watch, watch the video to the end you actually understand the points i came out with from that video so guys thank you very much for watching it's your girl lydia and don't forget to patronize me i do clothing shoes in fact anything fashion i'm into it right away from turkey istanbul so if you are anywhere and you want to buy something from turkey if we want to come to turkey please do write me on facebook page lydia Laben. go to my messenger and write me i'm going to respond to you as up if you need anything i do shipping worldwide so distance is not a barrier whatever thing you want just contact me and i'm going to give it to you men women and kids now is school time you can actually get some bags here anything you want some shoes for your kids you know so guys thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up for this video i love you all bye bye